James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is December 26, 2022, 2 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Thousands have lost power after three more substations have been sabotaged in Tacoma, Washington. Two power substations in Tacoma, Washington were initially reported sabotaged Sunday morning, leaving around 7,000 plus customers without electricity on Christmas Day. Later, a third substation was reported to have been attacked, bringing the total number of customers without power to over 14,000 homes. The attacks have been reported as burglaries because the substations were broken into, although no items have been reported stolen. The Christmas Day attacks come weeks after six power stations were reported attacked in Washington, Oregon, and North Carolina. At least six attacks at electricity substations in Washington and Oregon, including two in the Puget Sound Energy substations, have been reported to the FBI in recent weeks. Spokespeople for Puget Sound Energy, the Colwitz County Public Utility District, and Portland General Electric, along with Bonneville Power Administration, have confirmed the attacks did happen in November, according to emails sent in response to the Seattle Times inquiry. Those are previous attacks. News of the attacks follows a shooting investigator's say, damaged substations in North Carolina Saturday, leaving thousands without power. Energy experts have stressed the need to secure the power grid, warning that the nation's vulnerable electricity infrastructure could be a target for domestic terrorists. Sure thing. Tacoma Public Utilities reported the Sunday morning attack, i.e., Christmas morning via Twitter. Quote, early this morning, two Tacoma Power substation facilities were attacked in East Pierce County. Currently, over 7,000 customers are without power as a result. Law enforcement has been notified. We're working as quickly and as safely as possible to restore power. The Pierce County Sheriff later reported a total of three substations were attacked Sunday. Burglaries to three power substations caused power outages in Pallop and Graham this morning. All three substations were vandalized by the burglars. No suspects are in custody at this time. Today at 5.26 a.m. we received another call of a burglary to a Tacoma Public Utility Station at 223 Avenue East. Deputies have arrived on the scene and saw that there was forced entry into the fenced area. Nothing had been taken from the substation, but the suspects vandalized the equipment, causing a power outage in the area. Deputies were notified of a second burglary to the TPU station at 8820 224th Street each, which also had forced entry with damage to the equipment, nothing was taken from this site either. At 11.25 a.m., we were notified by Puget Sound Energy that they too had a power outage this morning at 2.39 a.m. Deputies are currently on scene at this facility where the fence was broken into and the equipment was vandalized. Obviously, these people knew exactly what they were doing. At this time, Deputies are conducting the initial investigation. We do not have any suspects in custody. It is unknown if there are any motives or if this was a coordinated attack on our power systems. In total, three sites were vandalized, two TPU sites and one PSE site overnight. So, as you can see, right now currently in Washington State, Close to, well, just over 55,000 households are now without electricity because of the three substation attacks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.